If you've got ice, if you've got a pacifier, let me show you how to release myofascia in the skin, how to lift and tighten the face, and it's a virtually free treatment, and it's just really beneficial for your skin. Hi everyone, it's Kelly J from Jolie Visage Skin Care and Jolie Day Spa and Skin Clinic. Um, and today I woke up and I was a little bit congested and I noticed I had a lot of puffiness underneath my eyes. And so I got to thinking about what I would do for a video today. And I thought I would just do something, um, share something that's really um, effective and it just doesn't cost anything. Um, you can do this at home and it's easy and it will create changes and benefits in your skin. Um, you could do it with everything um, that's just kind of lying around your own house. So um, I'll get started in a minute, but if you guys are watching for the first time and you um, enjoy this video, please like and subscribe um, and give us a little thumbs up. I think it helps our algorithms. Um, we bring tips and tricks and skincare um, products and, and um, devices that we test and carry and develop for our brand, Jolie Visage Skincare. Um, I'm 60 and Suzanne is 64 and we've been doing this for 21 years. Uh, we're uh, medical estheticians and we love product and skincare and treatments and we love uh, to share um, uh, ideas that work on the skin. So with that being said, let me get started and um, let me show you my first, um, let's see, my first little trick. Uh, I'm going to start first by applying a serum. And this is not necessarily something you have to do, but because I love product and I love always incorporating a few products um, into any treatment that I do at home, I thought I'd share this idea. So the first item I'm going to put on is our um, our vitamin C facial serum. And I'll tell you why I like to apply um, a serum and um, allow it to absorb into my skin. Because in a minute, I'm going to apply oil. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to work that oil into my skin. So our vitamin C serum is, um, let me look at my notes here. Our vitamin C serum is made from, um, it's, it's called Superior C Serum, and it's made from sap, which is sodium scorbopalmitate. And it's a very stable form of vitamin C. Um, and it's less irritating than um, L-ascorbic acid. It's a derivative of L-ascorbic acid, but there's many, many benefits to using the sodium ascorbyl palmitate. That's why we have it in our formulation. Um, so you're gonna get, you're gonna see brightening, you're gonna see calmer skin um, and less irritation. And anytime you're using a vitamin C, you're gonna see um, a, significant um, uh, stimulation of collagen in your skin. Um, this product also contains L-arginine, and L-arginine is a really important ingredient. Um, it boosts collagen, and it has a hydrating effect, and it's it's got some wonderful antioxidant properties in it. So those are two of the key ingredients in um, our Superior C Serum. But what I wanna show you next is um, how I like 
to work on my skin with little tools that I have at home. So it's always best if you have some sort of um, oil, it's really nice to work with an oil because you've got that nice little slip in your skin and it just helps with um, maneuvering and, and, um, and you'll see why it helps. Um, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of our um, facial oil, uh, our vitamin C facial oil. And um, it's not a, a really, it's not, it's more of a dry oil, so it'll absorb, but it'll just give me that nice little slip in my skin. And whatever oil you have as a facial oil, you can use at home. But I'm just applying this all over, making sure that I get behind the neck and then down on my decollete. And then whatever's left, just you know, rub that on the back of your hands. Okay, so we've got a nice slip there. We've got a nice application of our of our 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 Jolie Visage um, facial oil, Phoenix oil. And now I'm going to show you a little secret. In fact, I'm going to show you my cute little bowl here. And I meant to put ice in this. I usually have ice. But in my little bowl here, I have two spoons that's been that have been sitting in the freezer in this bowl. I've got baby's teething, teething ring. This is from my grandson, Jackson, four and a half years ago. And it's been in our little, we have a little casita that I'm in right now. And um, it's been in the freezer. So I just rinsed it and I froze it again, put it in the bowl. And then we have this little tool that I really love to get in and work um, my eye area. But these you have in your house. So I'm gonna show you how I use them. So I was really puffy this morning. I think it's getting, it's because we've come back to California. And although it's raining, it is, it's just different. I guess it's just different than Tennessee. And I'm finding that I'm really stuffy and congested. So I'm gonna do a little lymphatic drainage. I'm just gonna take these cold spoons. I'm gonna work them. underneath the eye. They stay cold fairly long. Now I'm going to do an upward motion. I'm not afraid to put pressure on my cheeks so I'll get that nice little lift. Cross the lip. Now, I'm disappointed that I didn't put any ice in my bowl. So I'm gonna stop a minute and I'm gonna add ice because what I wanna show you is how you can continue to do facial massage with the spoons. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna let my, I'm gonna let my silver spoons, I'm gonna let them um, kind of freeze up again. And I'm going to switch to another little tip. So the spoons are for massage, um, they're for lymphatic drainage underneath the eye. I'm going to go back to using those as soon as they get cold again. But I want to show you that little old Hollywood tip that really, really works. And um, I'm going to grab a paper towel and I'm going to split it in half and I'm going to hold my ice cubes. And I'm gonna ice my face and my neck. I absolutely love this um, way of treating the skin. It's going to waken up the skin. It's going to create blood flow. It's going to tighten the pores, at least tighten them temporarily but every little bit helps. Oops, dropped one. Um, they do melt pretty quickly, but that's okay. And I don't, I don't mind that I'm getting a little wet. <laughs> I like that. These are really pure ice cubes because we buy them for 
from the store. So it's a really good pure water. And I like the moisture in my skin. The, the sensation, oh, it's really, really invigorating. They say that, which Hollywood movie star did this? Oh, I'll link it below. I, it slipped my mind. Oh, I believe it, was it Elizabeth Taylor or Marilyn Monroe? Or maybe one other. Um, What they used to do is fill up a cold bowl of ice water and dip their face into the ice water. I'm telling you, this is cold, en cold enough. You can see my skin is, my skin is really, whew, it's cold, um, a little bit pink which shows the circulation. It's really creating circulation. And remember, when we create cir circulation in the skin, we're creating um, uh, uh, the capillaries, the blood flow, um, all that attributes to um, collagen production and tighter skin, lymphatic drainage. So, I'm really going to work above my lip where we get those those uh, hormonal lines. I want to go up on my neck again. I said lips, right? I wanted to work on my lips. I'm going to go up my neck. Oh, I'm just dropping them all over. It's okay. I'm going to really work on my neck. I want, want that neck to be tight. And just remember, when you're doing that, really work on that exercise for your neck. I'm going to get to exercise in a minute. Okay, so that's enough with the ice, the ice, but you can tell it really is beneficial. Maybe I should have done a little bit more on the forehead because I'm getting a nice pink tone everywhere. Look at that. Maybe a little on the um, uh, eye, eyelids too because I do get really puffy in there. A little under the eyes. More is always better. I love the fact that we're we're tightening the um, the capillaries, the little tiny capillary activity under our eyes. This is that capillary area, the area of our eyes that um, that really show um, a, a a dark circle uh, shadow because we need to tighten that skin, and those capillaries need to be reduced. And with that. Um, ice it's doing it so okay that's a really nice treatment now um, let me go let me go back to the spoons and show you a little bit more of how I'm working with the spoons when I work on my neck I do this motion where I'm I'm really clenching the jaw here for tightness so that my skin is taut and I'm just working those spoons up upwards and then I'll just angle them in a oval kind of circular motion here to really release that tension and get that, that those muscles relaxed feels so good okay so that's the neck let me do this side they're already they're already warming up they're still a little cool I want to go back in and do some eye work and the nasal labial folds and cut my eyes but cup my eyes work around my eyes but I'm gonna I'm gonna get these cold again now I'm gonna take babies <laughs> baby oh sweet baby Jackson's um, little teething ring and I'm gonna just work this now remember I still have that slip that oil has not you know it doesn't dissipate so it's working on my skin and I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do a scraping motion I call it scrape and lift motion I'm going to start from the jaw, and I'm going to work up. Every time I repeat the scrape 
and um, lifting motion. I'm just going up a little higher and then I'm going to hold it. I'm actually going to kind of press it underneath that cheekbone and I'm going to hold that. I'm going to hold that teething ring there. I'm really forcing the fascia to release. I'm going to go, I'm going to do it at a different angle now where I'm going to, I'm going to work it from this angle. From the nasal labial fold here, some of the marionette there, and I'm just doing a scraping motion. Remember, you can kind of break it up to the fascia. Break it up. We want to get that. We want to get that fascia release so that we get a nice lift. So it goes back up into place. You can actually see. I think you can see the difference now between this side and this side. I really do. This feels so good. There's really um, something about it that's invigorating, and the fact that you're releasing those those. Um, the fascia. The fascia wants to pull down. It wants to pull down on our cheek, pull down towards our jaw at an angle, and then down our neck. We want to release all that so that our skin can just bounce back to how it used to be. It just gets bound up. Tension. I'm going to chisel that area there. Oh, it feels so great. Okay, so that side's done. You can really see a difference here in the lift. Okay, sorry about that. Now I'm gonna work on the eyes. I'm gonna just hold, lift up. I'm gonna work on the sides of the eye and go up to my temple. I'm gonna release. Now I'm going to work. I'm going to work my um, my forehead in my elevens. This is where I feel the scraping really makes a difference. There's even a little rivet here in this little pacifier that works, and it has this little rounded edge too. I love that it stays cold. You can work that. You know, work that at different angles to break down that that stuck fascia. The 11s are just kind of stuck muscle fascia that just wants to, it wants to, it's kind of like cemented in place. Well, we want to break that up. And then we're going to lift the forehead. I'm scraping both directions. Okay, that's looking really good. Now, I'm going to work around my eye. I'm going to use the flat part of the of the um, pacifier. I'm just going to roll that around my eye, and then I'll just gently, gently scrape. By gently scraping, I'm getting that lymphatic drainage around the eye, and the cold again is you know tightening that capillary, um, the capillaries underneath the skin. Now I'm going to go in here because I get a lot of buildup right in my um, my eyelid. Like I would suppose this is fat, fatty tissue here, but I do find that it collects um, lymph. So if I if I work that lymphatic um, lymph, lymph build, sorry lymph buildup, it does help that eyelid to look tight tighter. Okay. Okay, I think that's really good. I think that you can see that the lift from the frozen pacifier is pretty good. And it's really fun. It's really easy. I think that you can see that lift. I'm really happy with it. Okay, now let's go back to the spoons. The spoons are frozen again. And I want to work right here. I want to work on my, um, my uh, marionettes. And I want to work that tissue with the cold spoons, and I want to work that out. 
to release it. Now I'm going to work marionettes as I'm as I'm using the spoons you might want to you might want to notice how I'm actually exercising my um, cheeks watch that motion again um, okay so I'm going I'm going so I'm going I'm pressing down with my upper lip and out down and out each time I'm it's almost like I'm pushing up against the cheek um, there's friction both ways so I'm exercising the muscle downward as the spoons are working the fascia and the muscle upwards you can really feel it working after you're when you're doing it you can really feel it but afterwards you really you really feel that your cheeks are lifted and back in place where they should be and it just it just is uh, so good that circulation is so good for the skin so I'll work this area I'll, I'll get the the spoons wet again or, or frozen again and I'll work up and then I'll work up on this side um, this is a nice one here just pulling that skin because the fascia needs to be released pulling it across the skin and releasing that fascia here's a good one too I'm just almost ironing it or uh, rolling a roll kind of pressing motion I call it ironing because I feel like I'm ironing those fine lines that want to form and I'm pressing them out so anyways that's my theory and I do believe it really works okay so I think you've got the idea those are a couple of different ways to use products, use something um, around your house. Now I'm just going to show you one more, one more thing that I love to do to release fascia. Um, this time I'm going to, just because I love to use product, I'm going to go ahead and just to apply, apply some of our reviving um, collagen serum. I love the reviving collagen serum so much. Um, it has snow algae in it and snow algae um, it it repairs DNA um, it has the ability to repair DNA and well, I guess it's a it's a form of algae that grows in um, nor northern Europe and then it also uh, contains um, acetyl 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 tetrapeptide 2 which stimulates elastin and collagen and it encourages for it it firms doesn't encourage it firms and then palmitoyl tripeptide 3 and that improves um, skin elasticity so it's a wonderful collagen serum okay so right now I'm just sharing with you some of what I do for circulation so I never just apply a, you know uh, a serum I'm gonna work it in my skin I'm gonna use that upward motion to make sure it gets up underneath the vellus hair the vellus hair goes into the pore and we want to make sure that we get up underneath the hair that it goes into the pore I will add a little more a little bit more of the um, Phoenix oil for slippage and then I just want to show you some little tricks that I use on my neck and my face and they're so fun and easy to use okay I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna kind of do this pinching motion I'm gonna pinch 
um, I learned this from a wonderful esthetician and um, it's Christine Beyer and if you get a chance to look at any of her videos she is a very well educated esthetician and I just loved what I love watching her tutorials so we're working that we're working this uh, brow area we're working the skin the eyelid area and we're just kind of draining it just going up and around okay so now I'm going to show you something else I'd love to do and that's my pinching motion I'm just going to pinch that that skin, the muscle, loosen it up so it can kind of float right back into sit, into uh, position, not situation, position. Okay, now I'm going to do it to the neck or the um, chin. And I'm going to kind of cup my thumbs underneath the jaw. Okay, that's looking good. Now, how do I, do? oh, I do this. I get those fingers, my thumbs, and I press upward, doing my facial motion again, tensing up, pulling those muscles back up into place. You'll see a difference in your neck. You'll see a difference in the um, the uh, ho horizontal lines. You kind of break those up. I get in there where the horizontal lines are and I really work them. And then I'll do that on my chest too, where I, you know, I try not to side, side sleep, but that's a hard habit to break. Like that song Peter, by Peter Cetera, it's a hard, you're a hard habit to break, I think. I love that song. Well, sleeping on my side is a hard habit to break. But I tell you, breaking that up, really makes a difference because it's just it's just fascia that's getting stuck in in that position and we just gotta break it up so I do this every other day I just do it while I'm watching TV at night so I'm going I'm doing a downward motion now just to get circulation and lymphatic drainage you can do it more gently than this if you'd like I'm just kind of a little heavier handed Okay, I feel I feel really invigorated. I think my skin looks better. Um, I do need to go back in and do this side with the ice um, to lift, but I feel like this will really be helpful for you at home. Um, you have everything most likely around your house. Um, so I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. Um, you know, we all have to watch our budget and this is a way to do it and this is a way to um, achieve results at home and that's what we're about. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and make a comment down below for me. Let me know you're out there and ask any questions that you would like to um, ask me. Um, and thank you so much for stopping by and um, I look forward to bringing some more tips and tricks and stay tuned because we do have our great big announcement about our facial device and it's coming.